So imagine a planet and you want to escape its gravitational pull. If you don't get fast enough, you'll be sucked back in by that planet's gravitational field into an orbit. If you don't get fast enough to do that, you'll crash onto the surface. Even if you threw the ball or travelled straight up in the air, if you didn't have enough speed, you'd eventually come back. So, what we want to do is work out when you get enough energy just to leave that planet's gravitational field and keep going. At that point, so way out here, the potential energy and the kinetic energy, remember potential energy, equals minus g m1 m2 on r, kinetic energy is one half mv squared, they're in opposite signs, so one's opposite the other. Equals zero, or when you have equal amount of kinetic energy and potential energy, enough to get to zero potential energy, which is way, 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 way out here. If we look at this equation, we can fill it out and we get V, where are we, half mv squared, equals g to 1 r. And we can rearrange this equation. This is our object. If we make one our object, they cancel. Um, the half, we multiply this side by 2. We have to do the same over here. So we end up with v squared equals g m2 times 2 divided by r. And this is the velocity that's needed. So it's called the escape velocity. And it's the minimum velocity required to leave a planet or a sun's or an object's gravitational influence or gravitational field of influence. minimum. So you could be more than that and you'll leave, but if you're less than that velocity, you can't leave. You'll crash back to the planet or you'll go into orbit and then eventually crash back to it. We can get rid of this v squared over here and we get v equals square root g m2 times 2 divided by r. Now this is our gravitational escape velocity. For Earth, it's approximately 11.2, I think it's pretty much exactly, kilometers per second. Alright, so that's escape velocity. The minimum velocity required to leave a planet's gravitational field. You'll also notice here, pretty importantly, and I'll do this in red, the only things that this escape velocity depends on are the mass of the planet and the radius of the planet. The size of the rocket doesn't matter. If you can get enough velocity with that size rocket, and that can be difficult, you will be able to leave that planet. The bigger the rocket, it doesn't really matter, but you'll need a specific velocity to reach. Now, a big, big rocket is harder to accelerate to a particular velocity, so it does have an effect, but these two, mass of the planet and radius of the planet, are the only two things very, very important in determining escape velocity. The last thing just to point out is this g here is the gravitational constant, the universal gravitational constant, 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11, and it's required in this equation. And it comes from our potential energy equation. Remember, this is kinetic, this is potential. Okay, thanks.